Leeds is a city of resilience. A city filled with people who adapt, cope and thrive. But as temperatures rise, we want to show you what it means to live in a warming city. So these are our stories in our own words. Seat, it's hard to stay comfortable. It can be depressing when you're stuck in your flat. I do have my fan and water in the fridge so I can still try my best to look after myself and keep hydrated. Small walks help, but not everyone here can do that. Having a comfortable outdoor space would make a big difference, a little spot we can all share. A lot of buildings in Leeds were designed to keep the heat in, so in the summer they get very warm, and it's not always easy to find a cool spot. A couple of summers ago, the heat was like nothing I'd ever experienced before. I don't mind warm weather, but when it gets too hot, it slows you down. I have a chest condition, so I have to be careful. I keep my house well ventilated, use a fan, and stay indoors when it's really hot. It clearly will depend on living circumstances, won't it? We're blessed in living at street level rather than in a high-rise block. That'll make a difference. I mean, my chest condition is such that I can get out of puff when I walk uphill, perhaps more so in hotter weather. Our church is a great place to go when it's hot. It's cool inside and it makes a real difference. I'm lucky to have Roundy Park on my doorstep too. If there's a breeze, it's a great place to be. Some nights it's hard to sleep because the house just holds on to the heat. It makes the air feel heavy and even during the day, it's tough to concentrate. When it gets really hot, you notice how much harder everything feels. Not having a garden means the park is the only place to cool down. So I go there and meet my friends when it's hot. Even there though, there's not always enough shade. We live in a flat in the city centre. We don't have access to a garden. When it's hot, we make the most of the balcony. We try to have our meals outside just to get some fresh air. There are great green spaces in Leeds if you can travel. It's a lifeline for my kids, but even here, we have to work to stay cool. I try to find a breeze and remind my son to drink enough water. In the heat, I feel so tired, my mood is low, but what can I do? I work, I'm a mom, I can change my routine. Climate change is coming fast, but I want to do what I can. We try to make small changes, reducing waste, cutting energy use, because this is the future where my kids will grow up. The heat affects everyone. The children who never used to nap during the day, they need to sleep, and parents feel completely worn out. As our outdoor area gets too hot, we adjust activities, take extra water breaks, and help families find ways to stay cool. We also advise parents not to put blankets over the buggies, as this can create heat traps. Not every family can afford day trips to escape the heat, so we organize group outings to make sure all children get the chance to enjoy fresh air and space to play. We also do things like refer families to clothing banks for summer clothes. I volunteer at a charity and we see how much of a space like this really matters when it gets hot. Some people don't have anywhere cool to go, so having places like this where they can get out of the heat, have a drink and make friends and just feel comfortable is really important. We're doing small things that make a difference. We planted 18 trees last week, which will provide fruit, but also cool the environment. It's about looking out for each other. 
but it's not just here. Projects and spaces across Leeds are making a difference. If more spaces like this existed across the city, it would help so many people. It's not just about now. It's making sure that Leeds is ready for the future. When it's hot, I feel lethargic, but I've always known to drink more water and stay in the shade. The staff here are fantastic. They check on us, bring us extra drinks, and do what they can to keep us comfortable, even though it can be difficult to keep the rooms cool. Summers used to be hot, then they'd cooled down, but now it feels more extreme. It makes you think about what's coming next, especially to my grandchildren. But I try not to worry too much. We've always found ways to adapt and we'll continue doing that. As temperatures rise... Cities like Leeds face unique challenges. Each of us has a part to play. Through small actions and shared effort, we can build a more resilient future for everyone.